when we listen to great music, when we listen to a, um, a nice piece of classical music, suddenly people start crying. They have an emotional um, reaction to it. That never happens when we look at something. So I, I believe that um, the audio is very important for our human interaction and for our emotions. In 1945, German scientist Fritz Sennheiser founded a company to build voltmeters and microphones. The company, named Sennheiser, made waves with its wireless microphone in the 1950s. It has since gone on to revolutionize everything from filmmaking to music recordings to stadium acoustics. Those concerts around the world, many are powered by Sennheiser. Today, it remains a family-owned company and is run by two grandsons of the founder, Daniel and Andreas. I'm Sumiko Tan, executive editor of The Straits Times. I'm meeting Mr. Daniel Sennheiser for lunch at the Violet Un restaurant at the National Gallery. Over Peranakan dishes, he tells me how innovation remains key for the company and why the world of audio is so exciting. Mr. Sennheiser, you share your CEO role with your brother. What is it like working with your sibling? I think it's a privilege. Um, we're very different characters. We have different backgrounds. Uh, we came together to run the company now together since 10 years. And I think it's great to have somebody who you trust completely, somebody who has different perspective on the same problems, and uh, somebody who shares the responsibility as well uh, when there are difficult uh, decisions to be taken. Do you have arguments about things? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Never personal. We have arguments on a subject that we feel strong about and then sometimes one gives in or the other or we discuss it out until we both align. How common is it for German companies to be family owned? It's actually a fairly common um, model. Um, most of the employees in Germany are working for family companies um, because they're based on very clear values and guidelines and they're very professionally run most of the time. Um, and so are we. We provide a lot for our employees, uh, we're very caring, but at the same time we also make very professional business worldwide. If there's a phrase to describe what Sennheiser stands for, what would that be? It's the absolute uh, reliability, it's the innovation in audio, and it's the um, exceptional sound experience that they're creating with our brand. What have been some of the innovations that you have introduced to the world? Um, we created the first uh, wireless microphone in 1958. In the 70s, the interference tube microphone, which revolutionized uh, the filmmaking. Today, it's called the shotgun mic. The first headphone, the HD 414 in 1968. Lately, the first completely digital uh, signal chains, which are allowing for a new, completely new level of quality for production. Or for example, the uh, Team Connect ceiling, it's a, a dynamic beam forming microphone that you put under the ceiling that is fo automatically following the speaker around in the room. Over the last like maybe five, 10 years, what has changed in the audio scene? Um, we've seen the rise of new content producers, especially during the pandemic. Um, we've seen a lot of the content producers, whether it's musicians or bloggers or vloggers and Instagram um, influencers, they have upgraded their systems, they have upgraded um, their production quality, learning more about it and the products have become much easier to deal with, so we see much higher quality content everywhere. During the pandemic, um, how did your company fare? We did quite well. Initially we um, had a hit because all the professional business, especially live music business was gone. At the same time, a lot of musicians now had the time to uh, produce new content. So they upgraded their equipment or bought new equipment under the Neumann brand or the Sennheiser brand. So that compensated uh, for, for some of the um, losses that we had on the live side. And we had a lot of education and corporate uh, companies um, that upgraded their systems to be able to uh, have hybrid uh, classrooms or remote working. If you want to have a successful business communication, you need to understand each other, and the audio quality is, is an important factor in that. You know, a human has five senses, right? Mm -hmm. Where do you place audio? Our brain processes more visual information than audio. 70% is visual. 
The second place is audio. But the audio goes directly into your emotions. It connects to your brain, it connects to your emotions and creates physical reactions. So when we listen to great music, when we listen to a, um, a nice piece of classical music, suddenly people start crying, they have an emotional um, reaction to it. That never happens when we look at something. So I, I believe that um, the audio is very important for our human interaction and for our emotions. Thanks very much for having lunch. Thank you. Thank you. I think my family actually exploits me. Like, say we're moving house, so I'll get the heaviest item, you know, I'll take the heavier box, I have to carry the, the dining table or the sofa. Um, yeah, like, let's just say they know our strengths and exploits them.